last night, with all the excitement and enthusiasm, really on both sides, I thought it was a great night for America, for heaven's sakes. In terms of how it impacts us, uh, you know, implementing an effective energy policy is something that I think both sides pretty much agree on. It gives us an unassailable advantage in a worldwide competitive economy. So I think, uh, I think uh, we have every reason to be optimistic going forward. You know, in terms of monetary policy and everything else, obviously I'm not in the room. Nice. But the economy yeah. remains strong. Uh, yeah. Gosh, we, we look at our retail sales numbers. They're as good as they've been in a long time. Retail sales up about 1.4% for the quarter. There yeah. are some issues that we need to worry about going forward. Uh, you think about momentum statistics. It looks like this big move up may be flattening out a bit. Uh, I think with the positives of tax reform, uh, the reducing regulations has been great. Uh, but I think the trade war skirmish, whatever you want to call it, may give people some pause and may cause people, what we're seeing right now is investing capital in current operations. In order to get people to make long-term investments, I think we need to have that uncertainty resolved. So does that imply that you are seeing reluctance on the part of business to pick up uh, investments? Well, recall what, we're, what we are seeing is a lot of investment in current operations or expansions at current operations. I think to get the real long-term investment, I think there's another move that could be made if we remove that kind of uncertainty. I, I love it. Andrew, let's use both. I'm going to borrow that. It's a great night for America. Let's just... Can we do that? Could, because all you, sides can, can. Everybody gets a little bit of what they no, want. No, I know, no, but but for the democracy. But see, Tom gets a lot of checks sent in from for utility bills that from Democrats and Republicans. I mean, that was a really forceful uh, statement there, Tom. Now, you don't you don't care whether they're blue or red checks as long as they're green, right, Tom? That's sort of what you're saying, I think. <laughs> You want to know what we do, Joe, is we hope that everybody participates in the political okay, process. All right, you're, and, all right. and from what we're saying, no, seriously, hey, no, wait a minute, I seriously, it, I we're but all you're better down off the, if they You're do down that. In, in, in what is now being called the Deep South, uh, and that, that's one of the ways they, they explain things. I mean, are you surprised that a guy backed by Bernie Sanders and who espouses some uh, what, what, I don't know what you call it, democratic socialism or whatever, did so well? And, and it, um, uh, in, in Georgia, um, the, the Democratic candidate did so well also. I mean, it, the, the South is, uh, is becoming much less Republican, it seems like. Oh, I don't know. Look, we'll let the numbers speak for themselves. My sense is the business climate continues to be really good. When you look at the issues facing us, you look at the numbers that we're seeing for the quarter, and really I think what we see going forward, it, it remains a very bullish climate for uh, for business as compared to the rest of the United States, I would say. I just, I just thought it was weird that um, in, in Florida, which has no income tax, that you were having a guy once like single payer and, and, uh, and, and he did very well. I thought he was going to win. In fact, a lot of people thought uh, he was going to win. So the, the, the things are changing, uh, but they didn't change all at once last night. But you're certainly seeing a, a sort of a shift, I think. Well, it certainly is an interesting argument to have right now, and especially having that argument with the economy doing so well. Uh, fascinating stuff to talk about. All right, here. so what, what were the highlights of the report from, uh, from your company today? Yeah, so it really was benefits of tax reform. I know one of the crawlers on the TV screen earlier said we missed revenues. Revenues were down just a little bit, less than uh, percent, 0.7%. But you want to know what that is? That is the benefit of tax reform. Uh, one of the things we do is collect taxes as a part of our business, and tax receipts were lower. So revenues went down. Wait, a explain week that. Net explain that again, Tom. Was up. Yeah, sure. So uh, essentially, a lot of times utilities act as a tax collection agencies. If taxes are high, bills are higher. And what we were able to see, what we, the deal we pretty much struck in all of our four state regions here in the southeast anyway, is that we gave about two-thirds of the benefit of tax reform in the form of lower bills. And that helps Oh, so you lowered, uh, even you lower lowered prices, and as a result, that hurt your revenue numbers because you lowered prices yeah, with what yeah. you got back from taxes. Okay, I get that.